Louisiana, especially black folks, y'all are in for four years of hell because they are passing bills that are shameful and despicable and can't be stopped. Uh, y'all gonna love this one here. Um, roll a video. You want to wait resisting an officer for those people who are driving an automobile and is unable to produce identification. The officer can uh, effect an arrest to be able to put the individual in an identification system so they can ID the driver. So again, if I do not have my identification, what will happen to me today? Look, under currently, with the, under the passage of your bill, is if and the officer believes you're not giving the correct information, you can't produce identification, and he can't verify what you're telling him, that he has the ability to effect an arrest on you, so he can identify you through a, a computer system that we use based on fingerprints. So you're adding the fingerprints to this situation. So if I give him my name and he does not think I'm giving the correct information then he will arrest me. Yes, ma'am. During a stop. So what would that look like? No, this, this bill would allow them to take them into custody, bring them to a place where they have a system where they can uh, use the fingerprints to identify them. Well, it could be the jail. I think every agency is different. It could be the police station. It could be the parish correctional facility. It could be a local police department. Wh wherever that system is housed that for the parish. So basically, we're not necessarily be if you... If the officer thinks that um, you're not getting the right information, it's technically for anyone who does not is, does not have an ID. Yes, ma'am. Anyone. Yes, ma'am. Members, this bill adds a section into 14108 resisting an officer. That's what's happening in Louisiana. How many black folks in Louisiana? How many? Some also say that they're doing this because they want to go after uh, migrants who come into the country illegally. But y'all know how this is gonna actually impact us. Notice how it's gonna impact us. Now, here's what's interesting. This tweet right here says, Representative Fontenot from LaForge Parish, Louisiana, made many claims in his full statement that this was being aimed at illegal immigrants, but none of that is actually lined out in the bill. That's him right there, a Republican from District 55. That's how you contact him, right there. He got his phone number, his email, phone number is 985-447-0999. Email is hse055 at legis .la .gov. Uh Yeah, he Cajun, he ain't Creole, so he not one of us. So here's the actual bill right here. Now, y'all tell me what you think is going to happen. If the officer, he don't believe you're giving the right name. He don't believe you give the, you don't have your ID. You forgot it. Y'all, I've actually done that. I, left, I thought my wallet was in my backpack. Dang, it was at home. Oh, you get pulled over. Now you can get arrested. Take it out, or we're gonna have a system where we where to, to, we're gonna have a system to figure out exactly who you are. Mind y'all, the law says not having an ID, you can get stopped, and they don't even you, you didn't commit a crime, but they go ask you for your ID. These are the type of things that are happening all across the country. And when we sit here, Greg, and tell folks why vote matters. It's a whole, Louisiana is passing a slew of laws. Since, since that MAGA Republican Jeff Landry took, they, they want to rewrite the whole Constitution, the state Constitution in two weeks. They have been passing laws left and right. And for all them black folks who sat at home, and, and let me be real clear, let me be real clear, the Louisiana Democratic Party was trash. Katie Bernhardt didn't even get, didn't even get elected uh, as the new uh, 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 chair, it's a brother who got elected. Pull up in a second. But his, then people say, "Well, man, I, I ain't know about the election, and did nobody show up?" Guess what? It, Louisiana, especially black folks, y'all are in for four years of hell because they are passing bills that are shameful and despicable and can't be stopped. That's what happens. 
and we tell people why voting matters. Greg, go ahead. No, you're absolutely right, Roland. Of course, uh, listening to you and listening to you walk through this activity of the white nationalist legislature of Louisiana is just a bracing reminder of why this platform matters so much. Even the conversation earlier with Fanica Miller and Black Voters Matter. It may seem like we're fighting a, a, an uphill battle, and we are, but we're not fighting a losing battle. To punch through the noise, to punch through the TikTok videos and the YouTube shorts, these are technologies that can be used, but there is no substitute for the slow work of organizing and building collective strength. These people are open enemies of our common humanity. They have absolutely no interest in humanity. They have interest in power. They have interest in their own miserable lives and those of their masters who fund them. And they are running and they maintain their power through shrinking the electorate, for keeping people ignorant, and for appealing to the most base instincts in humanity, hatred and fear. Uh, as you talked about Fontenot there, um, and, and I won't traffic in stereotypes, but you can look at him and make some assumptions that could be rebuttable presumptions, of course, but when his behavior matches the appearance, what you're looking at is someone whose self-hatred, whose vile self-hatred is projected outward toward people. In that same Louisiana legislature, when you talked earlier about this idea of not allowing children to have breaks, one of the key sponsors of that legislation in Louisiana is a dude named Roger Wilder. Roger Wilder owns 19 Smoothie Kings in the state of Louisiana. I hate to think that when I was down there uh, last month for the Association of Black Social Workers in New Orleans, that I bought a smoothie in a franchise that was owned by him. I hope that wasn't his Smoothie King, but whether it is, isn't in the point. He owns a number in Mississippi as well. And in the debate over the bill, he said, I don't know why we have a rule in Louisiana that lets these children have breaks. They don't have that rule at my Smoothie Kings in Mississippi. These are the new plantation owners, friends. They don't give a damn about the poor, whatever color they are. And they are shaking in their boots, terrified at the prospect of a William Barber and a poor people's campaign because they realize, as they knew during Reconstruction, as their predecessors knew, that once poor people get beyond the politics of hatred and fear, they can overwhelm these enemies of our common humanity. And I'll end with this. People wonder, you know, and, and, and these same people who will say, you always chilling for the Democrats, or you, you are to you or me or anybody else, to Reese or anyone else, you know, to Lauren, to any of us. These are the same people who would say, you're always talking about, you know, you're begging for money and support the network. Do you know why these same corporate interests are not going to plow millions of dollars into the Black Star Network? Because they understand that it's the people who watch this network. The base is black, but it is hardly exclusive in terms of the viewership of this network. Continue to educate themselves and educate themselves relative to the people who come on this network and share information, who understand the relationship between politics and education and informing oneself. They understand that that is what will threaten their ability to attack our common humanity. That makes this moment more important than ever because they're on the verge of eliminating the ability to participate in the electoral process in this country. They're beyond it. And you know how you know they're on the verge? Because they are acting now with impunity. They are not even trying to pretend as if they're doing something different. Racy, this Racy, this is what Lander's also doing. Go to my iPad, Anthony. Bill stripping public access to government records advances in the Louisiana legislature. They're trying to stop journalists from being able to put in freedom of information requests. And he's saying, oh, they're just, you know, well, we can't access the reporter's notes. I'm sorry, y'all are public officials. The reporters are not. And so they want to hide that information. Louisiana is a major, major state when it comes to uh, the environment. Of course, a lot of petrochemical companies. Look at this here. Uh, top employees at Louisiana Environmental Agency resigned in clash with new leader. Uh, and uh, sorry, this just popped up. Uh, that the new, the new leader is uh, a, a black MAGA woman. Uh, and that's who that is. And so, w again, w what you're seeing here, what you're seeing here uh, is uh, the type of things that are happening because folk don't vote. In fact, I'm going to try to find it. Landry actually uh, had posted uh, a note about, oh, how he overwhelmingly got support from the state. He got 52%, but only 36% of people actually voted. 
36% of people in Louisiana actually voted. That means 64% stayed at home, and he's running roughshod uh, with his MAGA agenda. But folk want to criticize us for raising the awareness of this sort of stuff. Yeah, you're shilling for the Democrats. Okay. Hey, knock yourself out uh, for living in New Orleans. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, for Louis, living in Louisiana under this MAGA rule. Well, first, to anybody who wants to throw out shilling for Democrats, fuck you very much. I don't give a damn if that's the way you want to put it, to be dismissive of pretty much objective facts on which political parties are doing what. Um, if you have a problem with that and you can't uh, accept that information, then I think that's a personal problem. That's not a reflection of me or anybody on this panel. So let's just start there. But citizenship is always on the ballot in this day and age. It was on the ballot when 60-something percent of people in Louisiana decided to stay home. Landry was not given a mandate by any means, but unfortunately, a majority of votes and in terms of the votes cast is all you need to become a governor. And so that's what he got. And he has the basic authority to do anything that he wants to do because of the majority um, of having a Republican trifecta in Louisiana. And so when you see bills like the one that you were discussing about now how, you know, basically people can stop you and arrest you if they suspect you of being an undocumented immigrant, that is the reason why it's not limited in the language to that specific demographic is because it is a free text for fucking with anybody. And who do they normally choose to mess with? Black people. So Oops. if you notice, you know, now the rhetoric around Haiti is ratcheting up. See, now that they got enough black people on their side with the anti Northern Triangle immigrants uh, or anti-Northern Triangle immigrants or anti-Mexican immigrants. Now they're starting to pivot to talk about Haitian immigrants and, and ratchet up that rhetoric around them because as they're starting to and put these laws in place that allow basically omnipotent powers for police to make you have to show your papers, prove that you are an American citizen, prove that you are who you say you are, to their satisfaction, which is subjective, arrest first and then figure it out later. Meanwhile, y'all ass in jail and so you done lost your job. You done lost all kind of other stuff because you missed work and whatever else is going on. Car got impounded, whatever. That's for you to figure out all that fallout. So I, I want people to be very aware of the fact that the, a lot of these things that you might think are fixing a so-called immigration problem are really just a pretext to strip you of your citizenship. And to your point about the, the public records, again, citizenship, when you do not have transparency or accountability for your government officials while they're passing laws that are detrimental to your way of life, that is not citizenship. So I need people to wake up. You already la lost the ballot uh, box in when, when Landry was elected, but that doesn't mean that you can't hold him accountable. And as these elections are coming up this year, continue to do your part and just go out and vote. If you don't vote, then you just at the mercy of everybody else. Fanbase is pioneering a new era of social media for the creator economy. This next generation social media app with over 600,000 users is raising $17 million and now is your chance to invest. For details on how to invest, visit startengine.com slash fanbase or scan the QR code. Another way we're giving you the freedom to be you without limits.